Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Mario. Yesterday we did the Costco Kitchen and Home Gadget Edition. Today we're going to do it at BJ's and I promise you'll be disappointed. Stick around. Okay, today we're starting with the Power Air Fryer XL Air Fryer. It's 5.3 quarts. It's basically identical to the GoWise unit that I use, except the GoWise is 5.8 quarts. This usually goes for $120 at BJ's, but during the Black Friday special, you can pick this up for $70. And BJ's has a fairly good return policy, so that's a good thing as well. Uh, you'll notice the inner basket uh, has like a what I guess they'll call a ceramic coat coating. Some people have had pretty good luck with it. I don't have any experience with it. This does have the upgraded base pan with the silicone uh, rubber bumper, so you're less likely to damage either the basket or the pan. And I think for $70, it is a solid buy. Okay, for 20 bucks, you have your choice. These are normally 25 bucks each. They're all from Bella. You have an extra large griddle. You have a rotating Belgian waffle maker. You have a sauteing pan, a five quart slow cooker, and one of those electric stirs. Now, these would make awesome stocking stuffers. You know, and to be honest, I wouldn't mind having any of these. And on top of it, for 20 bucks, you can buy a few for yourself too. Okay, here's something for you outdoor cookers. You have a charbroil electric smoker for 70 bucks, and then you have the Oklahoma Joe for 200 bucks. Now, the key here is the 98 cents. Usually when you see 98 cents, not 99 cents, but 98 cents, usually that's at or below cost. Now, I don't know about the quality of these units, but it may be something that one of you guys can uh, give me a little heads up on the quality of these two for other people. Okay. Here it is, the Gotham Steel Crisper Tray. I own and use this in my Brevel Smart Oven Air. Um, the drip tray underneath is great, so anything I know that's gonna drip, you want that tray underneath it. Uh, the bottom cleans easy, just as I bought it day one. That top piece has always been a sore spot with me. Because of all those little grid lines, it's really hard to clean. You almost need like a brush to get it clean. But these days, I just throw it in the dishwasher. And right now, it's on sale for 15 bucks. However, I hear the Copper Chef unit is much better. Speaking of Copper Chef, we have a 14-in-1 multi-cooker. I don't know much about it, but it looks like there's a really deep cooking pan, and you have accessories that'll go into it, you know, deep fry, and it looks like it has that crisper basket like I have on my Gotham Steel. And this was originally 100 bucks, it went down to 90, and now it's on clearance for 70 bucks. And like I said, I've heard Copper Chef is a much better quality unit than the Gotham Steel versions. You know, sometimes you want just a simple toaster oven, and in this case, a convection oven. Uh, you know, a toaster can't do what a, a toaster oven can do. The, granted, they don't toast toast too well, but uh, this is also a much cheaper alternative to something like the Breville Smart Oven Air. Granted, it can't do what the Breville can, but for 40 bucks, it's not a bad deal, and sometimes that's really all you need in addition to your air fryer and stove. Okay, they got a big discount on this turkey fryer powered by propane. I don't know much about these. What I do know is never stick a frozen turkey in one of these because you are asking for it. I have no use for them myself. However, it wouldn't be a bad idea to have a couple of fire extinguishers on hand like you see here. A two-pack for only 20 bucks. Okay, here we have the Faberware 15-piece stainless steel cutlery set. It also comes with a pair of scissors, and I love mine. I cut right through the bone. This one also has a knife sharpener on the side. It may seem a little gimmicky, but ever since I bought my knife sharpener, I've been pretty happy with it. Also, we have the Cuisinart Digital Convection Toaster Oven for only 60 bucks. This is an alternative over the one I showed earlier, except this one's digital and all fancy-like. Okay, moving on from the food and food related. Here is a Mini Cooper Coop for kids. I don't know about you, but I would have loved one of these as a kid. And for only 130 bucks, your kid will love you for at least a day. If they had one on display, I might have jumped on from it and went for a little ride. All right, I gotta get me one of these. From the shopper image, a foldable shihatsu massage chair with heat zones. I don't know about you, but I want to just sit in this thing and just like hide away for the day. And uh, you know, for 180 bucks, 
I think that might make more than one person happy in your household. Okay, it's cold out there. And uh, if you work in the garage, you need to keep it heated. Here we have an indoor-outdoor heater. It's 90 bucks on sale. I wish I had bought one last year when they were on sale. Maybe I'll buy it this year. I do have a parabolic dish heater right now. Um, so you can also pick up a workbench. You want to work inside now for $130. Now it is not on sale right now. But, you know, this one, like the Keter ones, usually go on sale in a couple of months at a very reasonable price. Okay, BJ's just got these in as well. On the left and middle, you'll see a 60-inch telescopic snow brush. Now, the one I picked up at Costco yesterday was $16, and it only went up to 51 inches. And this year, the Berkeley Jensen one looks more heavy-duty than it has in the past. However, they bumped up the price from $15 to $20. I know it's a lot, but I end up breaking these, so I figure I am going to be prepared this year, and we'll see how it goes by the end of the season if I have two left or none left. Okay, lighting. We got these uh, outdoor lights from Mr. Beams. They seem to be a common brand that I see in a lot of places. These are battery operated, so you can stick them just about anywhere. I have uh, similar ones that I light up my driveway path, and since it gets darker out earlier, this may be ideal. Uh, we also have the indoor LED light. I have something like this in my kitchen for 15 bucks. It's a name brand, Sylvania. It's uh, probably a good deal as well. And then, of course, we have the assortment of LED lights. But like I said yesterday, Costco has a much better variety and far better price than the BJ's or anyone else that I've seen for that matter. Okay, for those of you going through kitchen gadget withdrawals, here you go. Um, these go anywhere up to 15 bucks as an assortment. Uh, same with Costco. They never seem to go on sale. So really, I only buy them here when I really need them. And I don't want to head up to any other store or order it on Amazon. There's a fairly decent selection in both locations, but it is what it is. Okay, both BJ's and Costco has a pretty good selection of TVs. I happen to like the Samsung. I have one now. They're pretty good quality. You can get a 43-inch for 300 bucks and a 50-inch for 330 bucks. They have a good selection of antennas if you're the over-the-air kind of person and you don't have a cable bill. And they got TVs for as far as the eye can see. It's pretty crazy how low in price TVs have come these days. And right now, BJ's, with some of their Samsung TVs, you get a three-year warranty. Okay, I can't even pronounce this, so I'm not even going to try. But basically, it cooks the food in the water, and then you take it out of the sealed plastic, and then you grill it up for a short period of time. Go over and visit Kirby for an explanation on this, because I ain't even going to try. Oh yeah, it's Bluetooth connected for you who want technology. Unfortunately, BJ's does not have a food court anymore. They got rid of it several years ago. There was talk about replacing it with a Pizza Hut or a Dunkin' Donuts satellite, and it never happened. They also got rid of their pharmacy and their photo center many, many years ago. Unlike Costco, that has all those things, but they just got rid of their photo lab there that was really good because of the lack of business from it. So at this point, I'm just going to play the lottery and hope that I win something. I bet you're wondering what the heck this is. This is the dead cat to my shotgun microphone. I put it on there to try to help the popping, and it did help some. Uh, if you like these kinds of videos, uh, throw a note in the description there, and I'll try to oblige, you know, throw out a video of, like this, maybe every couple of months or something like that. Uh, anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell so you know when I'm putting out a new video, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot. Again today, no air fried on plug. We'll see ya.